This video is brought to you by RafflePress. WordPress is used by over 35% of all the websites out there. That's a staggering number to realize. And to make sure that your website is a successful part of that number, we have put together some tools, resources, and sharing some events that will help keep you on track. So if you're ready, let's dive in. Since it is the first of the year, many people are putting together their new website. And to do that, we have put together a video as well as a tutorial on the seven best domain name generators out there. Domain names are a critical part of growing your website and having your business online. And it's become more difficult to come up with one. So we share some of our best ones that we think will help you get started. And then once you get your name out there, then the next step is to get that blog going. So we have revamped our, one of our most popular articles on how to start a WordPress blog the right way. And you can also watch the video that we've put together last year to help you do that. Once you get through all of that, the next thing that we have a lot of people look at and wondering is the best theme. That's one of the biggest questions that happens in our groups on YouTube and everything. And so we've done an expert roundup pick of some of our most popular and best WordPress themes out there. And then while we're here, I want to highlight the two top ones that I think will really help you. The Divi theme is a great, easy to use drag and drop page builder as well as theme. And then the other one that I absolutely love, I did a whole round of videos that you can watch here on how to get started with this. But the Astra WordPress theme is an amazing theme for you. It does a couple of things. You can choose the theme and then go and install the Astra starter sites plugin. And what this is do, little history. So a lot of people will go out, they'll find a theme that they want and they see the demo and that's the one that they want. So they'll install the theme. The problem is what they see in the demo and what they install on their site are two different things. And that's one of the biggest frustrations that a lot of people have. So the Astra team put together this starter site plugin. So you go through, you look at the themes, you look at the layout, you find the one that you like the best. You install that and what it will do is it will import all the plugins needed for that in imports some what they call dummy content that will make the site look and feel exactly like what you're seeing in the demo. And it is a perfect way to get started. So you're starting with a great base level. When I did those tutorials last year, it just made creating the themes a lot of fun. And then once you get your site set up, we want to share with you some troubleshooting or tips and tricks to get your site going a little bit better. One of the biggest errors that people see is how to fix the error establishing a database connection. And we've updated the article to show you how you can fix that. And then if you're coming here because you have inherited a site, we see this all the time. I was a part of that. If you volunteer somewhere or if you're at your church or even at your work, a lot of times you'll, if you have a little bit of technical know-how and are intrigued by doing WordPress, then you'll probably inherit one. So we've put together, so we've put together 11 things you should do when inheriting a website. So make sure you check that out. And then probably one of the things you'll want to make sure you do, whether it's inheriting somebody else's site or your own, is how to clean up your WordPress media library. The more image that you upload, the bigger that the site will get. And we'll show you two methods that you can do to keep that at a manageable level for your website. And then moving on, speed is such a big factor on sites for SEO as well as for the user friendliness of your site. Nobody's going to stick around longer than I think it's down to three seconds and it's probably even lower than that for mobile. So make sure that you have a speedy site and we go through eight best tools on how to check your site for speed and then there'll be some indications on how to fix that. So if Adding an e-commerce store or a shop on your site is important for you this year. We've got you covered on that. We set up how to create a coupon pop-up for your WordPress website. You see this all the time when you go to an e-commerce store. One of the first things that people ask is for your email in exchange for a discount. And we show you how you can get that on your website as well. And then if you're wanting to get into wholesaling, we've put together a how to add wholesale pricing for your website. This is great if you are a manufacturer or if you're a distributor and you want to have a relationship with retailers, we'll show you how to do that with WooCommerce and we'll go step by step with that. And then knowing your conversion rate is a huge important factor in growing your e-commerce store. So we have put together how to set up WooCommerce conversion tracking, and this will help you learn how your site's doing so that you can improve. And then rounding it out is a little bit about community email and contact forms. This is with you engaging with your customers or with your potential audience and so we've shared how to save contact form data in WordPress database. A lot of times 
if you have set up a contact form, but maybe you're worried that it's going to spam. If you have this set up, then you can go and check the WordPress database to make sure that you're seeing all of the form contacts that are being submitted. So when we tell everybody you need to start an email list, one of the first things they ask is, I don't know what to send them. I don't know what to tell them. So we've got you covered. We put together how to send a custom welcome email to new users in WordPress so you can get that started. And if building a community is something important for you and your website, then we also show you how to add a forum in WordPress using BBPress. And BBPress is an amazing plugin that adds the social and forum functionality to your website so that you don't have to manage them on something else like a Facebook group or something like that. And then keeping on with building up your website, I think community, having community to help you when you're facing some roadblocks to grow your website, community is really important. And there's several different ways that you can build up community and be a part of a community to help you stay on track and stay motivated to build up your website. If you want daily interaction for community, then I think that our Facebook group, WP Beginner Engage, is the best place that you can find and share information. But don't just go to that group and don't just join the group and ask questions. If you have a win or if you figured something out, go into that group and share what was the problem you were facing, who helped you with it, and how did you fix it. Sharing these wins is really important as well as letting somebody else know that you went through the same problem and this was the solution that you had and it just helps them out as well. Another sense of community is looking up WordCamps. WordCamps are these great weekend long conferences. They're really small. They're volunteer based. So volunteers in different cities will put these together and it's just a weekend long of either different tracks. You'll either have a developer track. If you're getting more into building websites or building plugins or themes, you can go that route. There's sometimes also a community track. So if you want to become more part of WordPress, WordPress is open source and it is community driven by volunteers. You can do that. And then one of my favorite tracks is the business track. So these are sessions and talks of bite-sized actionable things that you can do to help grow your website. And so make sure you look up the schedule to find one in your area. And if you don't have one in your city, then look for the nearest one. There are also sometimes bigger WordCamps and these are much larger. They're WordCamp US. WordCamp Europe. And the whole reason why I'm bringing this up is because the first time ever they will have a WordCamp Asia, and this will be held in Bangkok, Thailand in February, February 21st through the 23rd. So if you're on that side of the world, make sure you check this out. This is, these are kind of bigger events that tell you like the whole state of WordPress. You usually see the keynote speaker is Matt Mullenweg, who is the co-founder of WordPress itself. He created it. And if you can't make it to WordCamp Asia, again, just check out the schedule for planned WordCamps in your area. And if you happen to be down in Miami at the end of February, 1st of March, make sure you come by. WP Beginner will have a table at WordCamp Miami. So you can come by our table and say hello and chat with us about your website or how it's going. Another great way to grow your community is by growing your email list. And one of the best ways to grow your email list is by running giveaways. The easiest way to run a giveaway for your website is by using RafflePress. RafflePress is the best WordPress giveaway plugin on the market. And to get started, you can head over to rafflepress.com and make sure you use promo code WPBVIP to get the best discount on RafflePress to grow your community. So that wraps up this month's state of the WP beginner world. Let me know in the comments below, are you going to a WordCamp this year? If so, which one are you going to? And thanks for watching.